Yes, I am back to cover, I'd say, the most intriguing and unanticipated group to come out this year. I mean, even their debut caught me and other K-pop fans off guard. In a good way, because it seems like Korea is already in love with Hyde's new girl group, New Jeans. With their refreshing visuals, unique backgrounds, and numerous songs they dropped. And on top of that, it's crazy to see how young these members are. Which of course leads to some concern about Hybe's styling of the group. New Jeans is just beginning as Hybe labels are preparing to debut 8 new groups by the end of 2023. And that's honestly scary because New Jeans already broke a rookie record that was set by another girl group in the same company. You might have heard of them. Let's set a film. Now let's learn how New Jeans was formed and discovered from training life to debut. So New Jeans is a five member girl group created by Ador under Hive labels. And they debuted on August 1st with the single track Cookie. But you may have noticed they also released other pre debut songs like Attention, Hype Boy, and Hurt. And believe it or not, New Jeans might be the first K pop group ever where all the members can speak English fluently. Hi everyone! Hi everyone! Hi everyone! I'm so hyped to see you right now. We also have three songs in total, including Cookie. So, did you enjoy our music video? You can find out our names in second title music video, Hype Boy. Hype Boy music video. It's coming out tomorrow. Hope everyone enjoyed. Bye! I really hope you enjoyed watching our debut music video. I'll see you all soon. Bye! Bye! Take care. All right, so the name, I, I, I get you. I was like, New Jeans? Really? Why did they go with the name New Jeans? Well, the lead producer of Ador, which is a sub-label of Hive Labels, explains the name New Jeans has two meanings. Denim jeans are a timeless piece of clothing and New Jeans wants to represent that for this generation of music. Timeless. The other meaning is more of a wordplay on New Jeans or New Jeans. Again, to explain that these girls are a new type of idol. Aside from their music, which I'd say stands out among other groups in K-pop right now. It's very, very refreshing for some reason. Probably the biggest talking point about New Jeans is the fact that the average age of the group is just 16 years old. People were shocked when a member Hyun said she was still in elementary school when the COVID pandemic started. Now that I made everyone watching this feel old, New Jeans impressed not only with their age, but with their instant fame and success. Following in the footsteps of their bigger sisters, the set of him, New Jeans just dropped their first self-entitled mini album and broke the first day album sales by a girl group. They set the record with over 262,000 copies sold again in one day. The previous record holder, Let's Set FM, sold 176,000 copies in a day, holding it for only three months till New Jeans showed up. Now, if that doesn't show this group's potential, I, I don't know what does. Now that we found out more behind this group, let's find out more about the members. Minzy was born in 2004 in Gangwon, South Korea. And you may remember back in the day when Hai was called Big Hit, they announced a global audition to form a new girl group. That is where Minji came into the picture. Minji was actually the face of the whole global audition, appearing in multiple promotional videos. And she was probably one of the first names to be considered for new jeans once production for the debut began. Since Minji joined Source Music, another sub-label under Hybe, when she was a sophomore or in her second year of middle school. But that isn't where she started. Minji, before becoming a Source music trainee was a trainee under JYP Entertainment. But back under Source Music while she was a trainee, she appeared for a BTS music video Permission to Dance, but that is when Minji had a massive offer from the founder of SM Entertainment. Lee Soo Man personally recruited her and reached out to her parents to join SM Entertainment and guarantee Minji a center role in an upcoming girl group. It was a win-win for Minji, but she chose to stay right where she was at Hype. Additionally, like I mentioned, Minji can speak English, but we haven't got too much of a chance to see that yet. And that was probably a great skill to have as she was chosen for this new girl group to debut as the leader, apparently, of New Jeans. Honey was born in 2004 in Melbourne, Australia, but her parents are of Vietnamese descent. That is something you almost never see in K-pop. Most idols come from or have Japan, China, or Thai ethnicity, and there's only been a handful of Vietnamese idol ever in K-pop history. But I say not from popular groups or companies. <laughs> <laughs> On top of that, Hani can speak Korean, Vietnamese, and English since she was born and raised in Australia. 
where Hani got her start in a dance crew called Amina Dance Crew based in her home city of Melbourne, where they performed K-pop dance covers. Then the same global audition that Minji promoted is the same where Hani auditioned for and passed in October 2019. That's when she started training to become an idol in Korea, and after two and a half years, Hani became the first Vietnamese idol to debut out of high labels and debut with new jeans. Oh, Hani also writes lyrics and is credited as a writer for their track Hi Boy. Danielle was born in 2005 in Munsan, South Korea. But being born to an Australian father and Korean mother, Tanya would move back and forth between the two countries. Probably because she started a career in Korea where she was 7 years old as a child model and appearing in numerous TV shows as well. Then Tanya would transition to K-pop when she passed the high global audition when she was 14 years old. After two and a half years of training, Tanya debuted as a member of New Jeans. And just like Hani, Tanya also co-wrote for the song Attention. Like this group is young, yes, but they actually have crazy talent and potential to be special in K-pop if they can also write their own lyrics. Hedin was born in 2006 in Pyeongchon, South Korea. There isn't much info about Hedin's pre-debut activity, but she was pretty popular in school, known for her looks and nice personality. Hopefully, Hedin shares more about herself as that's basically all we know about her. Aside from her being another trainee who got into high by passing that 2019 global audition, she put in the work and two and a half years later, she debuted with new jeans. And last but not least, Hyun was born in 2008 in Incheon, South Korea. Even though Hyun is the youngest, you might be shocked to know that new jeans wasn't her first group. She debuted back in 2017 when Hyun was she was I mean she she was nine nine years old. Yeah, I barely know how to multiply, but let me train and debut at the same time, is probably what she said. Hyun only stayed in the group USSO Girl for a year, leaving to do more YouTube kid programs, where she actually got the chance to meet and work with future label mates tomorrow by Together. <laughs> But unlike the rest of the members, Han was casted instead of auditioning for the company, where she would debut as the magnate of Nuches.